Okay, so I don't do a lot of YouTube videos, but I found that there is almost no content available on the new ARB Esperance rooftop tent. Um, so I'm gonna record a quick video and point a couple things out. And uh, anybody else that has one of these, I'd, I'd really be open to your input and feedback about what you are seeing. Um, unfortunately, uh, I'm not gonna like edit and cut up this video. Um, so you're gonna get raw footage. I'm gonna go as quick as I can. Uh, I'll start with this. Um, this was the, the first failure. So here's a piece of this rod that holds up these overhangs that uh, seems kind of odd to me uh, that they're made to be bent like that. I don't know if they got the measurement wrong or if that's what the engineers intended. Um, but obviously you can see I had a failure um, within a half an hour of this being assembled. So there's your broken piece of metal. I've got a nick out of my base rack. Uh, powder coat, I got a nick in my fabric from when it snapped. And, uh, and I got a chip out of my uh, vehicle right there. Luckily I do have uh, expel coating on it. Um, but I think it went right through the expel. So I think there's a big chip out of the paint. Uh, right there so that that's pretty crappy um some other things that i would point out uh, about this um you know for for what the cost of this is um just from a manufacturing perspective like it so water is just gonna rest down in that gutter uh it is not sealed directly to the tent on this side of the top you can see when i pull it back down i'll have to deal with that like the it's like com coming completely off uh, but just very poor um i don't know design or manufacturing whatever you want to call it so not impressed at all uh, about that you can see my vehicle is pretty dirty right now uh from a, a recent trip um so this is something else that really doesn't make any sense like like where does this go um you know this is so that you can pull the tent down when you're closing it uh but after the tent's open like what are you supposed to do with this um i haven't really poked around a whole lot to try to figure it out uh, this is kind of another one of these weird things like this is uh the strap that goes over all of the fabric as you're closing it and it's got this blue cord on it like i don't know like I, I guess this, I have no idea like what this blue cord is for um, or why it's here or why it's needed uh, in addition to this strap uh, that goes over to hold the fabric down. Um, so I guess we'll kind of start there. Like I'll, uh, I'll jump in, in into the tent uh, to point out a couple other things that we found. Uh, just in initial quick uh, setup. You know, I really thought like when I was looking at it and getting ready to purchase it, that this was a moon roof. Um, I was kind of picturing that the Rainfly would have like a clear vinyl built into the Rainfly so that you can see out of this. Uh, but this is the Rainfly, what you're seeing right here. Um, like kind of an auxiliary uh, rain fly which would pull off of the tent so the only way that you're going to get ventilation out of the top of there or a view um, is going to be to remove the rain fly um, here you can see uh, what it looks like when the windows are uh, up you can see I didn't really bother to uh, put that one up yet um, you know, I guess other things that I would kind of point out, like, why is the wiring up there? This is the wiring that you're going to run down to the vehicle. It's got a USB plug on the end of it for the lights um, that are built into the tent. I think they're, 
I, I guess if you use like a USB battery to power the LED lights, then maybe it would work. But otherwise, like you got to run this wire like down to the vehicle. My intent is to uh, run electricity to the ARB base rack. Um, a couple other things like just there's a quick view of how thick the mattress is. Um, I mean, it's fine for me. I don't mind. Um, a firmer mattress uh, surface. I don't know if I picked this up in any of the video. I didn't try this yet, but as you can see here, uh, there's Velcro uh, lining the lid. So here's the inside of the lid. It's got like very light padding on it, um, like from from the factory, like somebody needs to learn how to apply Velcro right there. I'm not sure how watertight those seams are over there. Um, but I, I believe that this entire shell will, um, that you can remove it and, uh, and then you could probably be up here with nothing, uh, which would be kind of cool on a clear night where, you know, it's not going to rain or have any kind of weather. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, when I uh, first opened it up, I thought this was kind of shoddy. This is a seam uh, on the exterior that is Velcroed to the bottom that needs to be set every time. And then there's also an interior seam here. I'm really interested to see what this is like in the rain um, and how much it holds up. Like you can see like some of the, the seams there, like, I, you know, it's just, the zipper, uh, the seal of the zipper is really not the best, but um, that is just a mosquito net. Um, so maybe it would be okay. Uh, there is your only LED light on the inside of the tent. Uh, and then on the exterior, as we go back down, your exterior lights underneath of the tent are right there one on either side uh, which is not bad here's that seam on the interior that I was talking about that you've got to run the velcro around and and stitch it um, you know let alone the rain I'm interested to see what it's like in the in colder uh, temperatures, um, these are our uh, bags that came with it, uh, which took a little while to figure out. Um, not in the instructions or anything like that, but they just slip into that seam right there. Um, which is, it's kind of a cool design. Uh, this is like a watertight bag. I guess you can roll it up, but it's a rain cover for the bag, so that's where you would put your shoes. And then they're uh, snug and velcroed in there and uh, I think that's all I got like for an initial uh, first impressions after setting it up um, again really interested to hear uh, from anybody else that has one of these um, on some of the stuff that just not very intuitive like those straps like what the hell do you do with those um, And, uh, and again, just like very little information. Like, do I have those installed correctly? Like, why are they so long? Why are they bent like that? Um, is that why I broke one of them already? Cause one of those is shorter than the other right now. Um, but the documentation included is, is, uh, is very poor. Um, so interested to hear what anybody else thinks. But overall, pretty stoked about this uh, tent. I guess I would throw that in there. Uh, it folds up in like two seconds. Not going to make a video of that right now. Um, and it's pretty comfortable when you are laying up there.